Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first episode in the new series that I'm starting which will revolve around giving some basic guidelines and tips and tricks for the usage of the six different classes in Killing Floor. Killing Floor is several years old at this point but despite this it's still being updated and it still has a very active and large community and player base and it's currently going through its Hillbilly Horror Halloween event which brings some new aesthetic changes, some updates and also brings the price on Steam down to a very respectable £3.74 or your regional equivalent and because of this there will no doubt be a few new players who will be joining the ranks of the specimen killers that already exist and so these guidelines can be seen as something of a, you know, a basic introduction for these new players I have looked online to see if any such guides existed already, and they do, but they were made several years ago, at least the ones I found. So consider this as a more up-to-date introduction of what you can find in Killing Floor. FYI, this is the first time I've ever done a video like this, uh, it's more of a scripted guide rather than improv com commentary, so forgive me if I make a few errors or mistakes. So for the first episode in this series I'm going to be covering the class that I first started with when I first got the game and a class that will hopefully be relatively easy for new players to get to grips with and that class is the Commando. Think of the Commando as a supporting class with an emphasis on assault rifle weaponry serving as the eyes of the squad and taking out the weaker specimens so the other classes can move in towards the bigger specimens unhindered. Choosing the support perk will give you several bonuses for the usage of assault rifles, increasing their damage and magazine capacity, reducing their recoil and also offering you discounts which increase every time you level up the perk. You also gain a universal bonus to your reload speed with every weapon. You also gain the ability to detect cloaked stalkers with certain distances, starting at 4 meters with an unleveled perk and ending at 16 meters once you're fully leveled. You also gain the ability to detect a specimen's health when you're close enough as a red bar that's hovering over them, starting at 4 meters once you level the perk up once and then ending at 16 meters at level 6, similar or exactly the same as your ability to detect cloaked specimens. As I said, the Commando's main weapon of choice is the Assault Rifle. There are several of these rifles and they're divided into two categories, Basic Assault Rifles and the Higher Damaging Battle Rifles. In ascending order of price, the Assault Rifles are, not including DLC, the Bullpup, the AK-47 and the M4 Carbine, which are the same price, and the, M and the MB-42, no, the MKB-42. There are two battle rifles and they are characterised by their higher damage and more higher accuracy but their lower magazine size. The SCAR H and the FN FAL. Upon reaching level 5 of the Commando class, you automatically spawn carrying a bullpup when you enter a game using the class. Once you reach level 6, you then spawn and using and wielding an AK-47. This can then be used straight off the bat to kill the specimens which is especially useful if you happen to join late in the game or you can then sell the weapons in order to buy new gear which means that you can spawn as a commando carrying these weapons then switch to a different class once the wave ends and sell your weapons to buy the gear respective towards your current class. The commando class levels up through dealing general damage to specimens while using assault and battle rifles and also killing stalkers while using assault and battle rifles. This can be done even when using these weapons off perk, which means it's viable to level up the commando while using, while using a class such as the Berserker, who can use the bullpup as a secondary ranged weapon due to its cheapness and ease of use. Now that we have the statistics out of the way, it's time to focus on what the commando should and shouldn't be used for. Due to its choice of weapon, the commando shines when pitted against groups of weak, weak specimens such as clots and crawlers and stalkers and maybe even gorefasts. Fast fire rate of assault rifles allow them to chew through groups of these specimens, especially when going for headshots. 
The Commando is therefore a very useful asset to the team when faced with these kind of specimens as they can often provide a very annoying and lethal distraction to classes such as the Sharpshooter and the Berserker which are often more focused on taking down the bigger targets such as Scrakes and Flesh Pounds and being swarmed by clots and crawlers can often disorientate their aim and even kill them if they're caught unawares. The usefulness of the Commando's reconnaissance abilities can also not be overstated, especially in a team that uses communication. You can call out the locations of stalkers when they're about to pounce unsuspecting teammates, and also gorge the remaining health of larger specimens such as scrakes and flesh pounds. You can then determine whether you should retreat and allow the classes such as the Demolitionist and the Sharpshooter to take the shot, or whether they're weak enough that you'll be able to kill them with your assault rifle before they reach you. And while the Commando's bonuses are focused towards using assault rifles, you're not restricted to those weapons. And remember that your bonus towards reload speed counts towards every weapon, which means that you can wield weapons such as shotguns or grenade launchers with surprising efficiency and therefore provide much more support than just basically raking down the smaller specimens. So, what makes the Commando class good? Well, for a start, you're very good at using assault rifles once you start leveling up the perk, and assault rifles are an ideal method to take out groups of small, weak specimens from a distance without needing to get up close like the Berserker has to. Assault rifles are easy to use, fairly cheap once you level up the perk, and carry generous amounts of reserve am ammunition. And of course, there's your ability to detect cloaked stalkers and see the remaining health of specimens infinitely useful traits for both yourself and your teammates. As long as you keep an eye on it, you won't have any stalkers sneak up on you, and you can shoot them before they can scratch teammates in the back. And of course, being able to see the remaining health of specimens while you're using communication, you can inform your teammates of whether the flesh pound they're shooting at is about to go down and they should keep firing, or whether they've only taken a small dent of its health out and they should wait until they can get bigger weapons from another class before opening fire again. Then of course there's your reload speed bonus when using any weapon, even off perk weapons, which is certainly a useful trait to have when using slow reloading weapons such as grenade, launchers and shotguns. Also the commando's ability to detect cloaked enemies and their health also counts for the Patriarch, which means the commando certainly becomes a very useful asset to the team when facing the Patriarch, as he can not only follow the Patriarch when he cloaks to retreat to heal, and also inform the rest of the team about his remaining health and whether he's about to go down. But of course, as with every class in this game, the Commando has his weaknesses, with their most prominent being their weakness against larger specimens such as Scrakes and Flesh Pounds. Assault rifles are easy to use, but fast firing and fairly cheap, but their low damage means that although they're capable of ripping through weaker specimens, they don't do much against the larger creatures such as Scrakes and Flesh Pounds, especially Flesh Pounds due to their innate resistance to damage. Emptying an entire magazine of even an AK-47 or a battle rifle into a Flesh Pound will only serve to make a small dent in its health or annoy it on any difficulty aside from beginner, and this problem is amplified when playing with several different people. Therefore, it's ill-advised unless they're already weakened for a commando to try to take on one of these specimens alone, and you're better off looking for the help of a sharpshooter or a demolitionist, who's capable of using weapons far more effective at taking down these particular creatures. Another major weakness of this perk is that it's very slow to level up. Dealing damage with assault rifle sounds easy enough, and it is, but you have to deal a hell of a lot of damage to level this perk up over 5 million damage to reach the last few levels. And of course, killing stalkers can be somewhat tricky as well. Killing them itself isn't, but if you're playing on a multiplayer server, you can have quite a few contenders for these kills, especially if there are other commandos around. You will have an advantage since you're able to see them before the other classes, but they'll no doubt be panicking and shooting them if the stalkers are attacking them. So if you happen to be playing a game with a commando, be sure to try, unless you're in dire straits, let them kill the stalkers. You have to kill over 3,000 stalkers to reach the final commando level, and the amount goes up dramatically even during the early levels of this perk. 
Remember though that you don't have to be a commando to get these kills or level this perk up. All you need to do is be wielding an assault rifle, which means that another class that could be using an assault rifle as a backup weapon to supplement its main weapons can also level up the commando and its own perk at the same time. So if you actually happen to have a commando on your team, there are several ways in which you can actually help them. One of which being, if they happen to be taking on a larger specimen such as a Scrake or a Flesh Pound, give them some backup, because assault rifles don't do enough damage for them to be able to take on one of these specimens alone safely on a multiplayer server, unless the specimen itself is already weakened. Also, let them kill the Stalkers, unless the Stalkers are about to kill you or kill a teammate who is on very low health the commando will be more than happy to t kill those stalkers for you since they'll no doubt be very eager to level up their perk. So I think that pretty much covers all of the important aspects about the commando that you need to know. So basic summary, uses assault rifles, has a lot of bonuses involving assault rifles, ideal at reconnaissance in detecting stalkers and the status of the specimen's health, and wiping through hordes of clots and stalkers and stalk crawlers so that the other classes don't have to worry about them in their pursuit of their own chosen targets. But of course the commander is going to need a lot of support when it comes to taking on the bigger targets, which the sharpshooter and the demolitionist are more ideally adapted to deal with. So anyway, I sincerely hope that these, this guide has helped you if you came here looking for information, which you should have done. And I also hope that you enjoyed this little guide, and I thank you very much for watching. You can also visit the Killing Floor Wiki if you're looking for more detailed, in-depth information about every little aspect. And I'll, if I remember to, I'll put a link in the description below. So anyway, I think that. That's pretty much it. I don't want this guy to go on for too long because then it will just become a little bit of a drag and a bore. But once again, I thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps you, and I'll see you next time if I happen to make any more videos about this, which I certainly hope and think I will. Farewell.